And continuing the news, Hatelia Adam Stewart has caused quite a stir with a tweet um, which has caused widespread debate about unmasking children. Now, to have that discussion, we're now joined by a public health expert, Dr. Orville Nemhard. Dr. Nemhard, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Okay, so this debate is not just in Jamaica, but across the United States about whether or not children should be wearing masks for extended periods. What say you? Is this much ado about nothing or are the masks absolutely necessary? Um, as with so much of COVID, the debate will continue and there will be arguments on both sides. Um, what we know about COVID is, yes, there is spread from droplet and close contact. But the data says that children do not figure very heavily in severe illness from COVID disease. This is what we now know. And also, given the age group of children, do they really have the capacity to maintain all of the other measures and the discipline for mass keeping? So the question is, where do we get that balance? Are we really imposing something that should be, uh, that is onerous for them? Or is it that we're really doing enough to be protective for them and also for others in, in terms of them being uh, what we call spreaders of, of, of the disease? Also from an educational and learning perspective, they are now deprived of facial expression, um, uh, and, and lip reading in relation to, to their teachers and their classes. So the balance is always gonna be which of the evils, so to speak, you're going to weigh more heavily on. Certainly in our environment, because our immunization status is still so low, we still have quite a number of persons who are positive in the environment and um, our, our positivity rate is still, still higher than it should be. I think the weight should be in favor of us continuing to use masks at least for the time being until some of our stats improve. Uh, Doc, you mentioned uh, striking that balance. What are your recommendations for children, let's say, who begin school at 8.30 and it perhaps goes into 2 or 3 o'clock? What do you recommend in terms of um, how they manage, you know, with the mask? Right. So there should be mask breaks. The data again says there really isn't any uh, negative or untoward effect from the rebreathing in the mass, so to speak. People have always been concerned that there's this buildup of carbon dioxide and stuff. The data does not support that at all. But just from the point of view of being able to um, be free for a bit and also perhaps to change masks given the length of time that they're in school, there should be mass breaks um, throughout the day to ensure that uh, there's some degree of comfort uh, for all the, all the students involved. All right. Lots to talk about, including whether or not we need to revisit some of the protocols, but that is for another discussion. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, public health expert, Dr. Orville Nemhard.